What's up, y'all? It's Ali Abdul Kareem from Diabetes TV, and today marks a very special day. You know what's today? Today is the day I stopped doing intermittent fasting. Yep, I know it's crazy. It's something new, and I kind of had to swallow my pride and put the ego down. You know, I had a lot to prove with fasting as a diabetic because I got so much negative feedback. And I was like, I'm going to prove everyone wrong, I'm going to get slim, I'm going to get stronger, and I'm going to prove everybody wrong. But I got to the point now, it's been seven months I went fasting hardcore, going one to two meals a day, 16 hour fast, maybe even 18 hours. And as you guys know, I moved out of my place and being in a different environment, it's just hard to manage certain foods and knowing what you're going to eat, what timing you're out going to eat. So I realized that I was eating too late. I was trying to bolus for right before I go to bed and I wasn't feeling right, you know, and the sugar, my blood sugar wasn't steady, so I had to adapt quickly. So what did I do? I went to the best of the best. And why I say I think this is the best of the best, and I hope this brings you value, Dr. Bernstein Diabetes Solutions. Here's the book right here. So why did I choose this book? I bet you're wondering, why did I choose this guy? Like I always say, man, fitness and health, it's like religion. Fast, vegan, keto, you get the point. Dr. Bernstein has had diabetes for over seven decades. Seven decades with type two diabetes, sorry, type one diabetes. He's an old man, he lifts weight, he has better blood sugar, maybe even than normal people. This man is ridiculous. He talked about being feeling weird at a blood sugar of 120. Most type 1 diabetics celebrate 120s. Are you hot? Almost done. Celebrate 120. So this man just really caught my eye. And I know a lot of people are getting heat for doing low carb diets, but you know, he has results. That's the most important thing. And like I always remember from Ty Lopez, don't ever take advice from someone who does not have your results. So I'm decided I'll follow him. His plan is three meals a day, you got breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And his rule is 6, 12, 12. Six net carbs, 12 carbs, 12 carbs. Obviously it's a higher protein, higher fat diet, not too high in the fat. And you still wanna consider the protein you're eating and dose for that as well. So I actually had three eggs today. My pre-blood sugar for that breakfast at 130 or 120 was 90 milligrams per deciliter. Took one unit, now it's 130, not too bad. And uh, I'm, I, you gotta remember this, when you start a new diet as a diabetic, whether you're going keto, high carb, whatever you're doing, just remember that you're gonna have low blood sugars. And that means something is working, you're becoming more sensitive. Obviously you don't want them too much to the point where you die. To be a killer since I came out the nut sack. A man of murderous mind state with a heart full of terror. I see the devil in the mirror. So, I'm Ali Abdul Kareem from Diabetes TV. Stay tuned. Consider this. I forgot to tell you guys. Wait, hold on. There's something in my head. Okay, go. I consider this. I forgot to tell you guys. But carry a toothbrush. I've been trying it, and three meals to me is really odd. So I'll brush my teeth and floss after every meal. It might seem a little too repetitive, but you don't want to eat after. So it stops that. After eating, eating happens. Just thought I'd share that.